Good day everybody! For today's lesson, we'll have division of polynomials. But first, let us have a review on dividing power with the same base. Example, we have x raised to m all over x raised to n. That is equal to x raised to m minus n. If m is greater than m. Example, if we have here a raised to 10 all over a raised to 5. That is equal to the subtract the exponent of the numerator and denominator. So we'll have a raised to 10 minus 5. Simplify, we'll get a raised to the fifth power. Number two, we have two raised to the seventh power all over two raised to the fourth power. That is equal to, again, subtract the exponents, seven minus four, and we'll have two cubed. It's not yet the final answer. You have to multiply two thrice itself. So it means 2 times 2 times 2. And we'll get 8. Next, we have x raised to m all over x raised to n. So what you are going to do is to get the reciprocal and subtract the exponent of the denominator to the exponent of the numerator. It happens when the exponent of the numerator is less than the exponent of the denominator. Example number one, x raised to the eighth all over x raised to the tenth power. So that's equal to x raised to eight minus ten. We'll get the difference of x raised to negative two and we'll get the reciprocal so we'll have one over x squared next example two raised to the fourth power all over two raised to the eighth power that is equal to subtract eight from four and we'll get two raised to the negative four Get its reciprocal since 2 raised to the fourth is not yet simplified you will multiply 2 4 times itself so we'll have 2 times 2 that is 4 times 2 that is 8 times 2 that is 16 so our final answer here is 1 over What about if m is equal to n? So that will give you zero exponent. Remember, any number raised to zero, the answer is equal to one. Example, if we have x raised to the ninth power all over x raised to the ninth power. Same procedure, get its difference 9 minus 9 is equal to 0. x raised to 0 is equal to 1. Another example, 3 squared divided by 3 squared. So that is 3 raised to 2 minus 2. And that is equal to 3 raised to 0. Again, any number raised to 0 is equal to 1. So that is our final answer. Now let us have the quotient of x and y raised to n. So we'll have x raised to n all over y raised to n. Example, the quotient of x, y raised to 3. What you are going to do is to have x raised to 3. 3 here is the power of the quotient all over y cubed. 
Number 2. The quotient of 5x all over 3y raised to the second power. So we'll have 5 square. We get 2 here from the power outside the parentheses. Then x is square all over 3 square y square. Then let us simplify. 5 is square means 5 times 5. So we'll have 25. Copy x square. Then 3 square means 9. That's 3 times 3, 9. Then copy y square. Therefore, our answer is 25x square, 9 over 9y square. Example, we have a to the 4th, b raised to the 6th power, all over 3a cubed, b raised to the 8th power. So we'll have to subtract 3 from 4, and then copy 3, and then we'll have b raised to 8 minus 6. As you see, the exponent of b here is greater than the exponent in the numerator. That's why we have here 8 minus 6. Then simplify. 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. Again, you don't need to write 1 here. So we'll have a all over 3. 8 minus 6 is 2. Therefore, the exponent of b is 2. Our answer is a all over 3p square. Number 2. Negative 2 m cube and to the fourth open and close parenthesis to the fourth power all over 4 m cube and to the eighth that is equal to negative 2 to the fourth m 3 times 4 then n raised to 4 times 4 the exponent 3 came from the exponent inside the parenthesis and 4 came from the exponent outside the parenthesis. Same with n. All over 4m cubed n to the 8th power. So we'll have negative 2 times negative 2 that's positive 4 times negative 2 will give you negative 8 times negative 2 will give you positive 16. Then simplify. 3 times 4 will have m raised to the 12th power 4 times 4 you give n to the 16th power all over 4m cubed n to the 8th now let us simplify this one 16 divided by 4 will have 4 then 12 minus 3 then a n raised to 16 minus 8 simplify equals to copy 4 12 minus 3 is equal to so we have 4m raised to the 9th power. Then n raised to the 8th power. Therefore, our answer for number 2 is 4 to the 9th power and to the 8th power. Next example. Now let us have another example. Dividing polynomial by a monomial. Suppose we have here 25x cubed minus 30x square plus 15x divided by 5x. The first thing to do is to divide each term by the divisor 5x. So we'll have 25x cubed divided by 5x minus 30x squared divided by 5x plus 15x divided by 5x. Now let us simplify. 25 divided by 5 is 5. Then get the difference of the exponent 3 minus the invisible exponent 1 and will give you x squared and we'll have here 5x squared next negative 30 divided by 5 will give you negative 6 2 minus 1 is 1 but you don't need to write 1 here so our answer here is negative 6x. 
Next, 15x divided by 5x. The answer is positive 3. Therefore, our answer here is 5x squared minus 6x plus 3. Number 2, 36y squared plus 24y cubed minus 6y all over 6y. That is equal to. So this time you will arrange the given into the standard form, wherein the highest exponent must be the first term. So instead of writing 36y squared, we'll write first 24y cubed because it has the greatest degree or exponent. So we'll have 24y cubed divided by 6y plus 36y squared divided by 6y minus 6y all over 6y. Now let's divide 24 divided by 6 will give you 4. Then 3 minus 1 will have y squared. So we have 4y squared. Next, 36 divided by 6 is 6. 2 minus 1 is 1. But you don't need to write 1 here because that is an invisible exponent. Negative 6y divided by positive 6y will give you negative 1. So our answer here is 4y squared plus 6y minus 1. Number 3, 45x to the 4th y cubed plus 30x cubed y squared minus 60x squared y all over 15x squared y. So let us write this as this one. So 45 divided by 15 is 3. 4 minus 2 will give you x squared. 3 minus the invisible one here is 2. And we have here y squared. 30 divided by 5 is positive 2. Then get the difference. 3 minus 2 is x cubed divided by x squared is x. y squared divided by y is y. So we have 2xy. And the last one, 60 divided by 15 is negative 60 divided by 15 is negative 4. But you don't need to write x and y because it is 1 already. Because they have the same exponent. So our final answer is 3x squared y squared plus 2xy minus 4. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give your thumbs up, your comment, and share. God bless everybody. This is Changlian. Now, signing off.